Thank you to UPDF for sponsoring today's video. This is a drug he is using, butacinide and formoterol. Okay, now that this has completed image OCR, you can now see that I can highlight the costal nerve. I can explain. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you know me, you know that I love trying different apps. So today I am very excited to give you an in-depth review of the app UPDF. UPDF is an AI-powered PDF editor with features like annotating, editing, organizing, summarizing, and translating PDFs. One of the most powerful features I personally think is that it's available across all platforms of Windows, Android, iOS, macOS, and iPadOS. PDF editors available for Apple devices can be very expensive and there are a few options. Now, UPDF is a great choice. It's available across multiple platforms, meaning that you can access it through many of your devices. And something worth to mention is that they are all under a single license, so you only have to pay once to access it on Android, Apple, or Windows. UPDF offers a range of different tools for efficient PDF management. In today's digital world, PDFs are an integral part of our daily lives from personal documents to professional presentations. So let's dive into some of my favorite features of UPDF and how to use it. I'll be first showing you a UPDF on my iPad and then I'll be switching over to my MacBook and show you an example of how I use UPDF. Upon opening the app, there will be three folders. There's the trash folder, security space, and UPDF cloud. And I'll go over them separately. So the trash folder is for if you accidentally delete anything, you can find it in the trash folder and you can empty out the trash folder whenever you're ready. And security space is for any confidential document. So to access security space, you'll need to do face ID. So there's that extra step. UPDF Cloud is something I want to specifically talk about because this can be really useful. So if you want to sync across your devices from Windows or with your laptop, you can put the files into UPDF Cloud. So only UPDF Cloud, that folder, will be synced. So any files like that are not in the cloud folder will not be synced. If you have lots of documents and lots of PDFs that are really big, so like textbooks or big files. So whatever that's put into the cloud will be synced. This can save some cloud space. Just a feature that I actually really like. Any files that you import in won't actually be uploaded unless you specifically put it in the cloud folder. How to import files is really simple. It's this big plus icon on the right. If you click plus, you get options from photos, files, or your computer. So you can import from all of these places. And if you don't have anything that you want to import, you just want to simply create a note. You can do scanning. So you can scan any documents that you have physically and then create a folder or create a PDF. And there's also UPDF AI, which is an extra feature. So I'm just going to click create PDF. So there's different paper styles that you can choose from blank dotted grid. And like there's different to do lists that they already set for you. I actually prefer to write on blank paper. Clicking the pen icon on the right, we see that we have access to pen, markup, text, shapes, or notes. So we can simply click the pen option. There are different types of pens. So we have our simple pen, our highlighter, and we have this based dotted marker as well. And there's our eraser. I'm gonna select blue. And then we can also make the pen either wider or smaller as well. So today, some of the things I need to do is I need to finish lifestyle medicine. UPDF not only can edit PDFs, you can also use it as a note taking app. I'm just gonna go to my cloud. So this is something I synced from my MacBook and my iPad. So this is my thoracic cavity anatomy lecture. So going over this lecture, I could use the pen tool to write any additional notes. I can also use the highlighter tool. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. The left pleural cavity, I'm just gonna highlight that. And rib one is quite important. So another thing I can do is I could use the dotted tool to link anything. 
And then going back to our toolbar, we also have markup and text, shapes, or notes. So for example, so highlighting one by one can take a lot of time. So what I can simply do is I click markup and I could just highlight everything. There's not that much text, but let's say you have a document that a lot of the paragraphs are important, your notes, you can simply use the markup tool and strike through. So you can cross out any text that you don't think is relevant. And within markup, you can delete different properties, underline any things that you would like. On your iPad, since you have your pen, you have a lot of pen functions already, but this is really useful for any computer users. During the lecture, you can annotate your PowerPoint by adding different text and also different shapes and notes. So since this PowerPoint, I don't have a lot of text from my professor. What can be useful is the text tool. So I can add any additional text that I would like. Another tool is the sticky note. So I can say how to measure pressure. And in here, I'll just be the jugular venous pressure. So I'll just write how to measure that. It's around the sternum area you need to know. So this is actually not written out. So for example, I don't want to see this text when I'm studying to test myself, then I would put like, let's say like the new, what the maneuverum of the sternum articulates and do in a sticky note. So that way when I'm studying, I don't actually see the answers and I can click on the sticky note to see the full text. So I think that is really useful. And then on the right as well, you can add any additional photos. So let's say I want to have different views of the thorax, I can add different photos and I could add different links. So since there's not a lot of text on my PowerPoint, I can link it to a web page that explains the anatomy. I can also link it to another page in my document. One thing that I think might be useful for any professionals is that watermarks, you can add your own watermark. So if you have a document that is a draft, you can just write, this is a draft unofficial copy. You can also adjust the watermarks and how opaque you want it to be, the opacity and also the size of the watermark. So I think that could be useful. So it will be shown on every single page. So this is an unofficial copy just to prevent anyone from reproducing your work or whatever. Quite a cool feature. You can, have, you can see the different pages on the right side and you can also bookmark and move the pages around as well. So it's really good for organization. There are also stickers. So I don't use the stickers for any planners. I don't have really use a planner, but if you do digital planning, this can be pretty useful. And you also have stamps, which I think are really cool. And you can add your signatures. Now I'm gonna show you how I would use it on my MacBook. I actually like editing PDFs and everything on my MacBook more, even though there's the Apple Pencil. I enjoy editing PDFs more on a computer. And you can actually open multiple files, just like a web page. You can have different files open that you can easily change to. Another thing is that if you look at the left side, you can see that it provides a frame for what are the PDF you're looking at. So this just ensures that you see the whole PDF and you have an overview of which part of the PDF you're focusing on. So if I had a lot of text, I can zoom into a part and you can see from the left side which part I'm zooming into. This is a fake case that we have for case-based learning talked about in my previous videos. So Ben is now 35 years old. He's, he's someone with asthma. So Ben is now 35 years old. He lives in a two bedroom house with five other men etc. And so when I'm reading this, I can highlight specific parts that are important. So his asthma has been well controlled. I'm going to highlight this part. And as needed combination of these two drug inhalers, this is important. So I'm just going to highlight this. He started smoking. So I'm just going to highlight and I'm going to make it red. So this is something important. And now this cough is becoming progressively worse which indicates this might be something transmissible, I think. I haven't done this session, so I'm just guessing. Essentially, we've been editing the PDF and highlighting different things. I really like how easy it is to change colors. If you double click on any of the highlights, strike throughs, you can actually change different colors. So it's super easy and super convenient. And squiggly, if you double click, you can change colors immediately. Text comment, text box text call out, pencil, eraser, 
rectangle distance tools and attach files. This is all in the comment section of the PDF. So you're editing externally the PDF and you're not actually editing the text. The next one is edit PDF. This is one of my favorite features. So you can actually edit the PDF as a Word document to provide any answers. And if you're, let's say, doing any homework and your teacher provides it in a PDF, you can actually edit the PDF itself and create additional text. John was diagnosed with pneumonia. What symptoms was he most likely experiencing? So I can then add another line and answer the question. So I think that's really useful. Another thing is prepare form contract. It's for my rent lease. Then I can have text fields, check boxes, radio button. I can add image fields, date fields, and signature fields specifically. And UPDF is really easy to share. So you can basically share a link. Redact, I actually really like. So any information that is sensitive, I could blur it out. I could basically mark it down. Ben, I don't want his name to be shown. I could do redact. And then John's name I can blur out as well. So any information that's confidential, you can redact really easily. I think that's so cool. Another thing you can do is crop the page. You might not see how it works, but I personally think this is really useful because so sometimes during lectures, I take pictures of the PowerPoint. I have so many extra borders that I don't really need. You can apply these changes to all of your pages. Text box, text call out, pencil, eraser, rectangle, distance tool. You can measure distances, attach any files, and also the stickers. The text callout tool is something really interesting and something I really like. So for example, I'm going to call out that Ben fixed dose combination medication, mutter used to smoke. And also what is really easy to do is just simply clicking and adding additional text. I'm just going to show you the text callout tool again, text callout. And let's say I want to really mention that smoking worsens asthma. I think this is really good. So let's say if I was an English teacher and um, or if I was trying to help a friend with their English assignment, then I could say consider deleting. Also, if you're reading through papers and anything really long, I think this is really useful. Really good organization. I think it's really convenient. The tools are really simple to use and it's very efficient. If there's any sensitive information in there, you can add an extra layer of protection with password. And you can also share the file with others, share it with anyone through email. So, so good and professional. Export PDF like this swirly exchange sign. This just means that you can also change it into any format that you would like, either Word, PowerPoint, Excel, um, and all of these different types, image, HTML. So I'm just gonna export it as a Word document so I can share this with my friends, classmates, or if you have colleagues that you need to share it to. This app is kind of like Canva and everything imported together. This is the PDF that I just exported and you can see it's now converted to a Word file. Another thing I would like to show is scanning forms. So I'm just gonna scan this sheet I have here so you can see it as an example. And I've just updated my UPDF with the image OCR function. So on the right side, you can see recognize text using OCR. This is actually a scanned document. So you can't actually select and edit any text. Now I'm going to convert this into a searchable PDF and perform OCR. And I can now use the edit PDF like before. And you can also change your fonts. Now that this has been converted into text, I can actually translate this into Dutch. Then I can see that now this is going to be in Dutch. So this was the previous scan PDF. And now this is after image OCR. So everything you can now edit and be able to translate. My thoracic cavity lecture. I can also perform OCR on this. Okay, now that this has completed image OCR, you can now see that I can highlight the costal nerve. I can explain. Our professor didn't put much text on this slide. So now I can actually 
explain the intercostal nerve. The intercostal nerve is a group of nerves located between the ribs, etc. So now all of the diagrams that I previously had on this slide and PDF, I can now select and explain using the AI function. So this is really cool. So I've shown you how to edit your PDF, export it into Word or PowerPoint format, how to use image OCR, some of the AI tools, basic features of UPDF. I hope you found this video helpful. I think UPDF is one of the best and fiercest competitors of Adobe Acrobat, the PDF editor. It's a lot cheaper in terms of price. It's very easy to use, very simple user face. You can get on and get started really quickly. Simplicity is probably the word to highlight here, efficiency. UPDF has a clear and intuitive user interface. The arrangement of the elements, the choice of colors, the typography fits so nicely into iOS and Mac iOS, making the interface both very smooth and delightful. UPDF is fully affordable and offers so many features and the app developers are constantly upgrading and improving all of its features. And compared to Adobe Acrobat, which is often very expensive, UPDF is only 12% of its price and it offers simultaneous device ability. You can have UPDF on up to four of your devices to be online at the same time. Overall, you will get a feature-rich experience with ability to use AI, edit, annotate, highlight, translate, and organize all of your PDFs and files. You can export them into different file formats. UPDF has a free version, so you can try it out anytime if you would like. If you are already using UPDF, we highly recommend you to upgrade to UPDF Pro to have full access and capability of its features. PDF is offering a very attractive discount and check the links in my description to see the different plans of UPDF. Definitely check out UPDF. It's a great alternative to many of the PDF editors out there with a much cheaper price. Thank you for reaching to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any video ideas or anything else you would like to see from me, feel free to comment down below.